welcome guys, part two. Vex the tourist, I went to go over, but uh, the two kids ran in before she could. Oh. Come here, Grace. Gracie. Grace. 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 Inkly, but it is. So that they're all bloody stood there with their cameras out. Uh, yes, in fact. But then again, so are the tourists. Okay, so I'm now starting to think that Blige. Did she not say Pablige something Lushadka? Lushadka or Lushadki, horse, horses in Russian. I was convinced that Blige was a Polish word. Help me, put me out of my misery, guys. Blige, where is that word from? Which language? Look of delight. Any of you that uh, didn't see part one, folks, uh, a super interesting chat uh, with Jen and Darian from the US. Don't miss part one today. Uh, and of course, <laughs> very funny incident with the girl getting a rub down from the horse, whereas normally, as we know, the tourists that rub down the horse. Okay, two cards, you take the... We're looking at this moment, Shackleton, guys. Um, at the other end, we've got... Oh God, here we go, Monty. <laughs> Why do I have such trouble remembering that name? Probably because on the stable this is, this is Montgomery. I know that everyone calls Montgomery Monty. After our famous... World War II leader in North Africa. Uh, however, that said, ah, oh, we missed it. <laughs> Kids are bruised in gang signs, which is odd because I think they were their mum. <laughs> but <laughs> never mind. It is what it is. Meanwhile, oh, bro is like strong. Folks, any of you wondering why the back is closed? Uh, as explained in part one, oh, it out in the tunnel. <laughs> However, the tunnel is deserted. Why is it deserted? Well, because at the moment, as I walk into the tunnel, with the gates closed in all three directions, there is a memorial service going on beyond those gates for the Scots guards folks. This is why we've got some people enjoying a very, very rare moment of being able to get good pictures at the tunnel entrance. In fact, that's, that's an exceptionally rare uh, moment to get pictures here because it's always open. It opens actually very, very early in the morning. I can't remember if they opened it at 7am or 8am. And I've walked through there many times way before the first horses come out. But again, it might depend on the uh, time of the year. I'm not sure if it's just summer and uh, winter opening hours. Could well be. Hey, all right? Good to see you for a long time. All good? Ah, oh, hold on. Lucky man. You're right. You enjoyed it, yeah? Good yeah. time. Notice as well, guys, that we've got over the road um, an outside broadcast vehicle, BBC. I wonder if they know something's going to happen at the MOD today. Unless, potentially, Some of Scott's guards might well come naturally. They can't come through here because it's closed. I don't know if there's going to be any kind of uh, march to the MOD, but then again, the Guards Memorial is on Horse Cars Parade. The Gurkha Memorial is over on, uh, over on the street opposite the Ministry of Defence. <laughs> Thomas are really enjoying the fact that the back is closed. 
I personally would have no opposition to the back remaining clothes. Uh, okay, yes, I wouldn't be able to make my jokes about the uh, the deluge of people looking for food and so on. However, and this is what's important, uh, <laughs> in my opinion, avoiding that crush. I think it's a, a great idea to avoid that crush. Would there be any detrimental impacts on what happens here if the back gates were permanently closed? I didn't think they would, in all honesty. But it will never happen. Uh, why? Because they made property, by the way. Even the police are going to be surprised when they decide to come through and realise that they can't get in because it's closed. Oh, there we already saw. It's a very, 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 very chill day here in Central London today, which is, which is pretty unusual, I must say. That Monty's super enjoying the weather, look at that. It's a very happy horse. The problem is, uh, people are going to have a horse in their pictures with his eyes closed. here behind me now um, the marching band that's the arrival in fact of, uh, of the Scots Guards will be accompanied by a marching band and the time is exactly quarter past 12 yeah the ceremony is at half past 12 so I'm pretty glad actually that I didn't decide to go and video that in the end because it would 100% have meant that part one today would have been a no-go on YouTube it would be a real pity to uh, to lose an hour's worth of video. So it's absolutely delighted, look. Don't have a bad course here. So cute. <laughs> some of the toys are so cute though. Some of them literally fall in love with a horse straight away. <laughs> Amazing when you see that. It's so much better actually when the back gates are closed now. It's just like chill here, super chill. Yeah. Yeah, so much better. The police are having a good day, everyone's having a good day. Absolutely loving that uh, green colour there. I'm sure something just happened, right? It's closed, so I can't think what could have happened. Oh, did you get in trouble? No. Uh, <laughs> Oops. Did somebody do something silly? No, it's just a silly insect. Thank you, nice to meet you. Oh, you mean there's people putting silly no. pictures and stuff in the tunnel? <laughs> They're good. Of course, it's checking for really blocks, isn't it? Look what he's doing. <laughs> like doing acrobatic instead of the barracks. <laughs> I think, to be honest, they're probably happy today because it's a real easy day for all of these guys, no? Look, so much better. Uh, it's nearly... Uh, 
I'm not sure about that though, to be honest. I'm not sure they'd be a bit. It's funny, it's very funny. Do you think you're going to put it? Actually, in fact, I would because because you can't see who it is. Yeah, I, I think it's you fine. You cannot see them. You if it was, for example, you see their face when they fell on the floor, I definitely wouldn't post that, but I would post that because yeah, it's anonymous. Yeah. It's like a party they, party. they, in fact, you know, would actually laugh gonna, about that. They're going to see us, man. They're going to have a party, but they're going to get loud. <laughs> oh, they can't <laughs> that, was, that was a good catch through the, for the, the gates as well, for sure. That's why it's standing here. Oh, do you look at the one with the guy yeah. all like that? <laughs> oh, goodness. I actually prefer it like this with the back gates closed. It's quieter, but at the same time, it's really, really easy. Ah, oh, look. Just, ah, uh, damn it. Damn, just missed this. Look at this, folks. So sorry, I missed it, guys. Look at this. Actually, I'm going to run up the street a little bit to try and catch it because these courses are really unusual. Look at this. City of London Police. Look how unusual these two horses are. Beautiful, actually. Let me try and ask the officer what the name is. Officer, can I ask the name of your horse? George, thank you. George, what an absolute beauty that one is. Amazing, really unique. Another one called George. That isn't the George we saw before, is it? The two police at the front, the reason that they've got those red and white bands around their, uh, around their riding hats is that they're City of London police. Whereas their three colleagues at the back are Metropolitan Police Mounted Branch. Now, why do we have City of London Police in? Well, sometimes, if there are public events or if there are not enough Met Mounted Officers available for a day, they would draft in City of London Police at the weekend because the City of London at the weekend is, I wouldn't quite go as far as saying it's dead, but it's very, very, very quiet. Hence them having the officers available uh, to, to support their colleagues in the Met. What I was laughing at with my friend, he got a video. Um, beyond the stable gates, one of the one of the troopers was uh, <laughs> was doing some acrobatics. Um, did a handstand, or tried to do a handstand, and then fell over. However, as you heard me say, I said to him, I don't think it's a problem to post it because you can't identify uh, the trooper. The, the, the shade and, and light, you can't see who it is. So I, I don't think it's a problem. You know, no one's. Uh, privacy is being breached inside the barracks um, as it's you know, an anonymous individual that tried to do a, a headstand and fell over. It's kind of funny to be honest. A unique moment. Shows that the troopers are in a good mood today as well if they're having little acrobatic competitions at the back of the yard. Okay, it's the, uh, the chitsman that we had here yesterday. Uh, who absolutely didn't take any nonsense at all from the tourists yesterday. I don't think there's much chance of transgressions happening today because you can see the yard is gloriously devoid of tourists. Thank you. So, there's even space and time for the tourists to take the picture, to pause, turn back and say thank you. Rare. So if the museum's going to open at 1, so will the gates. And the time now is 12.22. So I'm pretty sure at some point, later in the video, we'll see the gates being heaved back open. Guys, listen. It's so quiet in the yard, you could, hear, you could actually hear a pin drop. Love it. I can really love it. Colours of the front mate today are just beautiful. Crowd look. God of course. It's beautiful blue sky. In fact, that's super, it could be a painting.
this is an interesting one. There's a group I haven't come across before, actually. It's a tall group. I'm just trying to see what it says. It says, uh, Muslim history tours on her flag. I haven't come across this before. I'd actually love to know. I'm going to Google that uh, to see what what is on the itinerary for this group in particular. It's a brilliant thing, I think, actually. And the absolute glorious colours on this side. Wow, love it. Another example of the fact that what happens here, the horses, the guards, and so on, transcends all the usual nonsense which divides us, i.e., politics and religion. It's one of those rare moments where everyone is uh, exactly the same, focused on the horses, the weather, the architecture, and more importantly, the history. Muscles in the horse's neck, the track muscles' neck. The camera picks it up so much more cleanly than my own eyes, which is extraordinary. Actually, most of the time, I prefer to look at what's happening on the screen as opposed to what's happening in real life beyond the screen. Actually, maybe to be honest, that's why the videos do seem quite immersive, because I do spend most of my time looking at the screen as opposed to looking beyond the screen. In other words, the vision or view that I try to present in the videos is what I'm looking at most of the time as I'm filming them via the screen. The middle, go through the arch now. Oh, they're about to find out that they can't go through the arch because it's closed. It's okay. They closed it. They closed it, chap. Oh, they closed it? Yeah. It's going to stay closed until about 1 1 30 because there's a memorial at the back today. So, yeah, a bit annoying, eh? but it is what it is. You know, we're all, we're kind of... Apart from that, any other interesting stories today? Oh. I mean, what can I say? Um, do you remember me from last time? I do remember you from last time. I was hoping that you talked to me. Yeah. We did have a super interesting <laughs> conversation. Personally, are you, which way were we heading generally? Towards the palace or towards Big Ben? We were going to go to the cannon at the back. You can still get to the cannon. Actually, no, you can't, in fact. The whole playground's mm -hmm. closed until they finish it. Um, I'm trying to think what's more interesting. Well, if you go here, you go in here? Or this yeah, the yard's still open. I never noticed the Muslim History Tours group before. Yeah. What are like the, the highlights that you like to show the group? Yeah, it's, uh, we've got the Ottoman Cannon here. You've got connections to the William State Shakespeare. Uh -huh. You've got Margaret Square. Different places around London. We actually do run a sightseeing bus here. Ah, really? This person, by the way, runs a TikTok channel. Oh, God, a don't YouTube do that. As well. <laughs> You're going to embarrass me. commentary as well. <laughs> and I've seen here many times we've actually. I don't know, we conversed over uh, social media as well. What was yeah. it? Uh, tag was London something, isn't it? London City Walks. London, yeah. London City Walks, that's it. <laughs> Thank you, you're, you're a gen. Thank you very much. Well, Enjoy, yeah? Come inside into the yard. <laughs> Enjoy. I didn't want to mention it, guys, because. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it's, uh, it's been a while since he and I spoke. I wasn't sure he would remember me. <laughs> uh, but he did, and uh, he's an absolute gen. Real pleasure to talk to him. One of the uh, one of the nicest people here, uh, but I'm glad you remember me because we have spoken many times before privately, uh, and he's a thoroughly lovely person. Great to see that. What interests all of us, for example, when we visit Muslim countries, there are so many things that we find interesting. Me personally, Morocco is the highlight for me. But it's a wonderful thing to see that groups from abroad, travelling here, have the same fascination with our history and culture as we, I do with theirs. As I said before, folks, we're all the same at the end of the day. He's happy that the yard is open, <laughs> and I'm happy for him that he's happy the yard is open because the group looked delighted. That he really, it actually, genuinely made me blush in front of his whole group. That really made me go like a little uh, English tomato. Okay, back with Monty. Oh, sorry. Okay. Thank you. He's no scratch a lot today. Not the first sacrifice, guys, of, the, of actually, I think of the weekend even. Look, child with a guard teddy bear.
No, no, he, I know him. He's a really nice guy. They wanted to see the cannon at the back. Yeah, they, I don't know why, but it's on, the, on his tour. So he's going to wait around a little bit and then if not, go to Big Ben instead. Never mind. <laughs> they're, they're gonna open it at one, one o'clock. They'll open the gates. But yeah, the museum. Yeah, museum opens at one as well. So back to normal soon. Uh, look, disgruntled jogger. Look, she's like me mega vexed. Everyone's vexed actually going through and realizing that it's closed. I kind of understand if you got you know, your regular route because often, of course, you time yourself when uh, when you're jogging. Oh. That was lucky, that was close. See? How long has it been since we see the guard go in and out? Most of the times when he's done his rounds today, he's come to the front, gone straight back in again. Why? No concerns from his colleagues on, uh, on horseback. Gloriously chilled day. However, as expected, the tour groups are starting to arrive en masse now. I'm not sure to be honest if that's good or bad. I'll need to give it some thought. Massive Monty shaking his giant head. I didn't tickle it. Did you, you saw uh, Abdul's video? Oh, the guy pulling open the stables. <laughs> Somebody, one of the cars oh, did, yeah, yeah, did a headstand and he stood behind it. The scenes, yeah, yeah, behind the yeah, scenes. Acro yeah. Acrobatic lessons. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that, that's an amazing moment to capture. Yeah, because behind the head, I think. To be honest, I, because you can't see him, I think it's, I think it's perfectly fine to face him. You never wear sunglasses. Two bars doing that, but I don't realize he saw behind the gate. He, he got, yeah, he was just in exactly the right in. spot. And then you, you can see where they are going. Yep. Which, to be honest, I didn't have a problem with that, and the, the guards didn't have a problem with it either, but as long as individual faces aren't shown, I don't see it being a problem. Yeah, because at I the end of the day, it's still public, even though it's beyond the gate. That, that it's far dark, back. that's dark as well. So we, we, the silhouette of somebody <laughs> falling on the floor. This bag is just flat. Yeah. That's the good one. That was a good moment because there were people putting their legs up and those stupid things like all kind of like this at the tongue as well. Honestly. This is why it's better when the back gates are closed, no? I really did think it is. It won't last. Yeah, everyone's walking through, in fact, hoping to get to the back. The yard is, is pretty busy again. Such a thorough chap, this guy. He really, really, really knows his stuff, and he's always super informative with his group. Notice that, unlike a lot of the guys, the group are fascinated with what he's telling them. He's personable, knowledgeable, and most importantly of all, exceedingly professional. If all the tall guys were like him, uh, they'd be rich, I can tell you that. Actually, where, where did the trooper go? I must have gone for a... Actually, where did the trooper go? See, look, he's now pointing out about the fact that on the clock, the number two has a black mark. Why does it have a black... Why does it have a black mark? Because the two marks the time when Charles I was executed here on Whitehall, just beyond these gates. That's why... If I zoom up myself, a lot of you know this already, but for those of you that don't, you can see the black mark. See that? Sorry if it's not particularly stable, it's really hard to hold it at this angle. I actually don't know where the trooper's gone, folks. Uh, trooper Chitsman is there on this side. Trooper Gatesman uh, has absolutely vanished. Oh, no, he's back. There's actually another vehicle that's just turned up, uh, outside Broadcast Vehicle. I wonder 
what they're waiting for. Look, there are two now. Strange that they would just turn up there, unless there's perhaps a public uh, greeting, arrival, VIP may be coming to the Ministry of Defence tomorrow morning. They're just setting up. Hmm? No, there won't be a problem. I know the guy. It's a professional tour group, um, M Muslim tour group. He's a super nice guy. He knows all the history. He's literally probably one of the yeah. best. Tour yeah, he's a brilliant tour guide. You were hoping they'd be naughty, but no, they're, they're best behaved, honestly, they really are. It's funny, guys, actually. I'm going to make this point because it's been brought up in so many of the videos. So many of you have, have uh, I say you, so many people that have commented on some of the videos where we've had the uh, Hasidic Jews that stand and stare at the guards or whatever. Even in yesterday's video, in fact, somebody mentioned this. They said, why don't you film other groups doing that? Why didn't you film uh, blacks doing that? Why didn't you film... Uh, Indians doing that, why don't you film? Muslims doing that. Every single comment you could think of have been on those videos. In other words, you know, why do you only film this group doing that? Uh, hello? Because that's the only group that does it. Okay? It is the only group that does it. If you don't believe me, look on Busker's channel. Look on any of the other big London channels where we have lots and lots of people congregating here in front of the arches. It doesn't happen, okay? It only happens with that specific group. It's a cultural thing. It's purely a cultural thing. And it's funny because you might notice that I never mentioned whether the people that are standing right in front of the arches being a pain in the whatever to the guards and the guards really dislike it, believe me. I never even mentioned and I never titled a single video, you know, a Jewish group or this group, whatever, do this. It's always idiot tourist, stupid tourist. In other words, it doesn't matter where somebody's from. It doesn't matter their religion. It doesn't matter their ethnic background. What matters is the behavior that is exhibited here when they are in close proximity to the guards. So I thought this, in fact, perfect day with a very large Muslim group in the yard to clear up the reasons why those videos often focus on those groups because those are the only groups that do it, okay? If you're searching for other videos of, I don't know, French tourists, whatever this and the rest of it, yeah, all groups harass the guards, all groups are stupid, all groups take the mic. And if you notice, looking through, as somebody pointed out yesterday on the Chinese video, why did you label it Chinese kid blocks the guard? Hello. For the same reason that I label Spanish kids um, get told off by the police. French kids get chucked out of the yard. Nigerian kids are very well behaved when they visit horse carts. German kids get shouted at by the guard. It's a, in other words, it's always, the videos are always labelled as accurately as possible in terms of where the group are from. Okay? And that's helped in the past to identify that certain groups are massively more respectful typically than, than certain other groups. US tourists, typically black Canadians, the most respectful here followed by people that are from other countries that either have strong military presence or um, have a royal family. So, uh, for example, one thing we would never, ever, ever see here are Moroccan visitors being disrespectful. It would never happen. For the same reason that in their own country, the king is absolutely... The Mor Moroccan king is, is revered. And it's the same here. They were absolutely super respectful. Um, especially as the... The king of Morocco, previous king of Morocco, was very good friends with uh, our late Queen Elizabeth II. So there are certain countries and nationalities where there would never, ever, ever, ever be an issue here. Just because they've been brought up in a way to not only respect their elders and their culture, but also to respect the monarchy. So that hopefully, once and for all, uh, puts an end to the reasons why only a certain group are featured in the serious, weird staring at the guard, congregating around the guard. And it's interesting because the video people complained about was the video where the police got involved and threw the whole group out. It's like, hello? So either you're saying the police are wrong to throw the whole group out, I'm wrong to film it, or I filmed it and the police threw them out all because they're from a certain ethnicity. It's not even ethnicity, from a certain religious background. Yeah. Extraordinary, isn't it really folks? I mean I hope sort of by explaining it rationally and breaking it down in that way, that will completely permanently put to bed the speculation as to why certain groups do tend to fish on these videos far more than others. Because when I think back to how many people over the past month or two since the first of those series of videos appeared, how many people I've had to permanently ban from the channel for their offensive comments.
Yep, it's always on that topic. Uh, people saying the channel is this, the channel is that, the channel has anti-Semitic elements. You know what? Take your nonsense comments elsewhere. Uh, don't infest my channel with that kind of rubbish. This channel doesn't have a political, religious, an ethnic, or any other bias at all. It's a channel that's focused on the household cavalry. And more importantly, what happens here with public and tourist interactions with the household cavalry at Horse Guards on Whitehall in London. So uh, I thought I'd clear that out permanently, and I, hopefully I just did, because yeah, there won't be uh, any patience or tolerance for people that are trying to paint the channel as having a certain agenda. There is no agenda. If people didn't behave as stupidly or disrespectfully, they wouldn't, one, get filmed, two, get criticised, and three, get thrown out. It's not really hard to figure it out, is it? It really isn't. Now, we've got roughly 20 minutes till they all open the gates. Uh, will that make a difference? It might. The only negative to that being the fact that I will be almost, regrettably, uh, sadly and unfortunately, at the end of part two. Uh, there will not be a part three. I have a game of snooker this afternoon. To be honest, it's going to be a bit tight already. I'm not going to have even time to change. I'm going to go straight there from here. seems, folks, that you really enjoyed yesterday's video. Do you prefer it when I start off walking, for example, either by the phone boxes or Trafalgar Square, that's all leading to the video? Or, honestly, before, do you think that that takes away valuable minute time from the video? Because an introductory video will typically have anywhere between 5 and 15 minutes of me walking somewhere or explaining something before the, uh, the action, as it were, begins here at Horse Cards. Now, I do sometimes worry about that because it does take away the time that is available for filming the horses or what happens in the yard. So let me know in the comments, guys, if you'd prefer me to get straight into the action, i.e. no uh, a little strolls around, admiring the architecture in this lovely weather, or pretty much get to horse cards and then switch on the camera. I think the majority of you would, would say uh, the former. You know, a little bit of everything mixed in, then the arrival at Horse Guards. Um, I do kind of try most of the videos, do begin here at Horse Guards, but I do try sometimes, especially if I see an interesting thing, like yesterday, the, uh, the girls trying to squash in the phone box. I wasn't even ready to start the video, but I thought, you know what? That is a pretty, you know, kind of cute and interesting moment, and I've never seen that before, so let's start the video. It happens. Um, I do often tend to get lucky, with unusual moments, either when we had the very, very tall lifeguard the other day walking through the crowd, the girls in the phone box, just other things that we see here. So I try my best to make it kind of varied, but obviously you know, there are certain limitations. This rough, roughly square mile of central London, uh, you've seen most of it in the videos. But I mean, I'm just looking now at the channel stats, guys, and something is... Uh, is clearly being done the right way because in the past four weeks uh, we went from 50k to 55k we just broke the 55k mark guys which is a 10 percent increase uh, in one month i think that's actually the largest increase in a single month since the channel began uh, and the views are very high as well folks we're now into the millions uh, plural uh, and tens of millions in terms of minutes watched per month, which is really the key dynamic. To get about, a lot of people sort of talk about number of views the channel has. Views don't mean a thing, why? A lot of the time people click on a, a video, oh, not for me, or wrong channel, click away. In other words, a view could be a, a one set, or even you know, a, a fraction of a second worth of somebody looking at a video. That doesn't equal uh, a tangible stat in terms of how successful a channel is. Also, a lot of channels publish these little shorts, 10, 15, 20, 30 second videos. That goes to the view count total. The, uh, the single most important measurement uh, of success of a channel is watched minutes. Okay. That variable is the most important by far because it shows sustained interest in the content over a period of time. 
more importantly, uh, the more videos watched and liked, the more the YouTube algorithm pushes it. So watch minutes per month is, uh, is the key metric for a channel's success. And thanks to all of you, the, uh, the watched minutes are going absolutely ballistic, guys. They really are. I was surprised. Actually. We've seen almost a 30% increase in the past month. Uh, and we are talking millions of minutes per week. In other words, thousands and thousands of hours per day being watched. Uh, a couple of videos have had more than 100,000 hours in a week, which is just, to me, it's mind boggling. Emirates fly better. It is very, 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 very chill here today. Actually gives me a chance to think before I speak, which uh, is why my uh, my narration might be somewhat more on the ball and natural compared to some days when it's busy and I'm having to worry about falling over and getting owned. Hiya, all right, yeah, good, good to see you. There, they close it for a while at the back. Yeah, yep, yeah, yeah. yeah. Another another super tall guy. He's uh, he's really nice as well. Is uh, like a kind of a website with a, a real time calendar <coughs> where they update all closures and that kind of stuff. And the arc, look at this arc, this arc of joy. It's a very, very well constructed arc around the front here, isn't it? Look. Lovely, actually, to be honest. Really nice. Good thing to say. <coughs> Let's see if teacher's going to keep his group uh, in order. It is, I believe, a very large Italian group that just turned up. Teacher's turn. I like the fact that the kid uh, pulled his friend back because the, the small girl was going over to get a picture with her dad. Very nice to see that actually. The thing is though, they <laughs> <laughs> They've noticed that there are a lot of people filming here for YouTube. So now they're debating whether to go back and get a picture. I don't think they're going to go back to the horse after the way they just looked at all of us. I think they've had enough. Pity actually, I was hoping they wouldn't notice us, but never mind. I guess uh, 10 cameras in a row kind of gives it away. I wonder if that bag is from uh, Yves Saint Laurent. Hard to tell. Hard to tell if it's YSL. Oops.
it's got one more round. Actually, no, it hasn't. It's tense already. Wow. Now, the thing is, if the museum is supposed to open at one, there's still no guarantee 100% that the back gates will open at one. Instinctively, it should all open at the same time. But I can't see the police going open the gates kind of mid mid changeover. I guess we'll see. for a little Second, even though his body language really moves. So yeah. like, I thought you were just for someone. Sorry, I mean, no, 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 of course not. No, go ahead, go ahead. Sorry if we're in your way. Yeah, I don't, I just, I don't know why. I just knew it at that point. You could just tell sometimes, no? <laughs> it's annoying that everybody, do you have people shouting at me like, get off the rails? I mean, the guys that need this shouting will always do it for them. Wow, that was extraordinary. I hope you, the uh, microphone picked it up, guys. How many people shouted in the crowd, get off the reins, including his own friends? Yeah. It really seems that maybe the signs have actually had, over time, their intended effect because it's incredibly rare to see somebody acting just march over and grab them as, as forceful as he did. But equally, a year ago, we wouldn't have had groups of tourists telling him, hey, don't touch the reins, brilliant. Absolutely brilliant, to be honest. Oh, I'm just like, okay, you've had your time, I get out of my space. <laughs> What did that idiot just say? What did he say? Did he threaten? Did he make a threat? I didn't. I wasn't watching the screen. Oh, what an absolute villain. Let's hope he comes back over. Damn, I'm really annoyed I didn't see that. I would have spoken to him. Yeah? I mean, stupid is stupid, drunk or not. Sorry, folks, I actually wasn't looking at the screen. We were just typing in about that, uh, that rain grab. Uh, officers at the front, four of them. So if Dopey comes back over, we'll see what he has to say this time. <laughs> This 
just a heads up, the guy in the England football shirt, I don't know what it was, but we think he said something threatening to the guards. Where's he gone? Oh, he oh, yeah, there he is, look. He's off his head, off his nut. Drunk. Yeah. Drunk. Now he's getting on with the police. What an absolute weirdo. Look. <laughs> Just the bit of a meltdown and marched off across the street. Like, what? Some of the weird people that you get here, honestly. He definitely swore at the guard. My friend next to me whispered it in my ear. He's like trying to say something to the guard. He's just like, get out of here. There's always one here, every time. Yeah. From English, uh, English football supporter. He had a real huff then, actually. <laughs> when the policeman told him, he was off. Oh. Very strange. Box being opened up. Oh, meanwhile, <laughs> someone on the inside. <laughs> Uh, I, thought, <laughs> I actually thought for a second it was uh, it was my friend. Ah, oh, this this is not you're not allowed to walk into into this area. This area is closed. It's, it's like private. There is no sign. Yeah, but there isn't a sign that says you can't go into Buckingham Palace for tea with the king. No, but no, no. but, I but you're the not the, the off. No, 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 no. What he's, trying, what he's trying to explain to you is, in here is okay, but, but in there is not, in this oh, bit. Okay, yeah, close. here is absolutely fine. Yeah? yeah? All good. <laughs> okay. I thought it was you. Right, like, seriously, I thought it was you then. Oops, yeah, slightly awkward moment there, a bit of misunderstanding. Uh, trying to explain to them that anyone's allowed in the yard. Obviously, no one's allowed in the yard. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> this guy just doesn't want this one. Look. Bro. <laughs> and the troopers on it as well, look. Okay, I guess we're inside for this one, folks. <laughs> uh, they're about to change. Definitely the horses will change. And potentially the two guards on foot will change as well. The, the, they were because the, the, the group didn't quite understand that they're not allowed to go inside here and they were trying to argue that there's no there's no sign so we can go anywhere but I said to him there's not a sign at the front of Buckingham Palace that says you can't have tea with the king right, right. It's, you know, it's logic isn't it so really? waiting, I'm still waiting for my invitation <laughs> oh goodness it's like my husband's day we have horses at home not quite this grand. Uh, which, which, are you from a horsey state in the US? Uh, no, I am not. I'm no? from Boston. Ah, you're from, oh. But we have four horses. That's so strange. I was speaking to two ladies that were from Boston this morning. Oh, no way. Actually here in the yard. Oh, that's funny. So I'm, I, I guess you Bostonians really love English history. I mean, yes, yeah. Yes. I mean, we do have this kind of this tea party kind <laughs> yeah, of exactly. connection, don't we? relationship. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah, you did. You were like, you know what, you English guys, get out. Give us our country. Yeah. Yep. But it's interesting to see sometimes the cultural misunderstandings here because they didn't mean to do anything wrong, but at the right, same right, time, right. The same they time, didn't right. understand when they tried to explain it. We don't have all the pomp and circumstance where we are. Well, not until Trump comes back, I guess. Oh, gosh, I knew you'd roll out of that. <laughs> Is that like your greatest fear for this year? I, I think, think it's I'm going to move here. Oh, really? <laughs> I might be better emigrate, off. emigrate back to, to England. Wow. Yeah, there's no good choices. It's true, actually, really. really I mean, isn't. There's not a good choice, is there, in no, November? No, no. Unless yeah. someone dies, God forbid. Oh, honestly, or both. That would be worse. <laughs> I'm very afraid for that at Mass this morning. <laughs> <laughs> 
Are there any other um, Catholic churches that we should see besides the cathedral at Westminster? Let me think. Um, I don't know if you're Catholic, but... I I'm agnostic. Okay. Uh, I'm just trying to think, actually. Catholic churches in London. We're going to Paris next, so obviously I'll go to King's I, I just, I was in Paris. Came back from Paris last week. Oh, no way. Get ready, guys, for how it is really crazy expensive. Pre Olympics, they're ripping you off massively. Of course, Every of restaurant. No, I didn't want to go there. It's cr but it's beautifully clean. You, if you've been before, you would have never seen this clean. It's really? so clean. That's nice to hear. Yeah, they really spent a lot of effort cleaning My it up. I've been going this summer for like three weeks to yeah. see. Oh, finger. Here we go. Folks, new horses. You boxman. Lady Trooper on the left, returning. to the camera, look. <laughs> now, I think we saw the gates migrate to the tunnel, so it should be a double changeover. Let's see. I'm not sure they're going to change over the, uh, the gates when the it's not in the uh, archway. This happens on the hour. Oh. So if you follow me forward, you can now watch the next bit. Don't worry, you're not going to get in trouble, I promise. <laughs> yeah. Now the foot guards are going to come. So the chapels and the arches before has been replaced. And the new one's going to come out, go into the tunnel, and they go that way. with the Lady NCO folks. Office are clearing the corner. Next up, the new gates. Definitely want to see this in Paris. <laughs> <laughs> yep, they're going to come back. 
um, and possibly shout at somebody on your right if they block his path. Possibly. They look at this. Here comes the new gatesman, folks. That is, the toys were so scared of the officer, they, uh, <laughs> they cleared enough space for 10 gatesmen. And boom. There you have it. Enjoy Paris. <laughs> Pleasure. Right, folks, um, I've noticed actually the clippy cloppy horse that didn't have a good time. How about, why, I just realized, why are people from Massachusetts, big shout out to Massachusetts, why are people from Massachusetts so friendly and nice? You know, especially considering, as I uh, joked with, with, with the lady there, especially considering our, you know, Boston Tea Party uh, joint history. One of the horses doesn't appear to be in a particularly good mood. Not sure why, and I also have no idea why this many people are just standing here because there's nothing happening. It's finished. I guess they're probably thinking, what happens next? Because they can't get out, out of here except by going through the front gates again. That was a really funny moment, actually. I do feel sorry for the guy. It was he wasn't intending to be uh, disrespectful anyway, but it was clearly. Uh, a bit of a misunderstanding, cultural and linguistic misunderstanding with, uh, with the Chinese group, the tour group. Luckily, the, uh, the guys jumped in and sort of diffused it a little bit because that, that police officer absolutely would not, uh, not take any nonsense. And if, for example, the guy had tried to remonstrate with him and God forbid he you know, pushed him or something like that, uh, that officer would, uh, would have clamped down very hard. We've seen it multiple times here absolutely does not say any nonsense and it's a great thing because I think that an iron fist sometimes here with these very large groups is appropriate you know softly softly does work in terms of met policing in many respects but even though these are Ministry of Defence Police uh, and they're here to ensure public safety they're not here to protect the guards the guards don't need protecting they've got a guard room CCTV and security uh, plus weapons if needed uh, so it's not about protecting or looking after the guards it's ensuring public safety from external threats from stupid crazies like the drunk we saw earlier and of course most importantly from uh, the T word that I'm not going to mention in the video for fear of it getting pulled but you know what I mean He's facing that way so I think maybe we go over there This one's a bit restless so I don't know why he's like all over the place this horse actually it's a girl horse sorry it's, it's not a him it's a, it's a she Maybe he's getting tired of standing in one place all the time yeah, I mean, it, an hour here per shift. I, I wouldn't personally like to stand there for one hour, but then I'm not a horse. I think I might have the same problem as before, guys. This horse is not uh, not in cooperating mood. Look, really not at all. I'm a, a bit surprised, actually, that, uh, that the horse is back out again. Hold on one second, guys. Hold on. What happened? At the back? Oh, would you mean beyond the gates? Yeah. No, I was in the yard for the changeover. Right. No, the Duke of the, um... It's Scott's Cars Memorial Day. Yeah, no, 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 no. It's, oh, shit. Give me a fucking forgetting the name. The Duke of Kent, the Queen's cousin, has just stepped down from the Scots Cars. Oh, really? So now, um, Edward's going to take over. He just laid a reef at the ward, didn't they? had a ceremony. Oh. And he walked through. I got it all on fucking camera. I was, I was just walking past. I was I there initially this morning, but then they said it's going to start around 12.30, so I thought, you know what? It's, was them uh, marching bands and music yes. as well? Is that going yes. to be a copyright problem? No, we're sharing. I've just put it on YouTube. We've been sharing. Oh, it's for sharing. Oh, lucky. Sharing. Okay, good. At least one of us got it. That's what matters. Okay, so uh, change of leadership at the Scots Guards. Apparently, uh, Busker just explained it. He luckily he was out there. He got it. Uh, and despite my fears of copyright strike, his video should be fine. It was listed as sharing. In other words, they've marked that music as being able to be shared. Uh, as opposed to exclusive rights happen sometimes. Okay. Okay. We are back at this end. Not for long though, folks, because we're almost at the end of part two. Um, 
on what's been a, a, for me personally a great day. I had a lot of fun talking with uh, the tourists today and other people. Very interesting day. Oh, this bro would have definitely walked into the horse if the horse had been out. problem inside I don't know who got shouted at or why they were shouted at but I think it's because they're about to pull open the gates uh, and there were too many people that were trying to push through at the end of the tunnel so somebody just got shouted at massively by the police I think it's because they're a little bit too enthusiastic about being able to get out of here every time there's a shout it's you every single time I oh, didn't want people to push you on the gate too much. Makes sense. Okay, folks, there we are. Look at this. Ta-da. I think that's the first time in one of these videos ever we've, uh, we've seen the gates being opened at the end of the tunnel. I don't think we're expecting anybody to come this way through the gates. It seems the officers want everybody funneled out the side, maybe until both gates are open. Oh, look, back to normal. There we are. Order, normality, fluidity is uh, is restored. How's about that? Simple, simple. Nice though. It's the first time I've ever seen the gates reopening in, in the middle of a video. It never happens. From the darkness into the light. And to be honest, people, um, I think that's pretty much a perfect ending, really. That was a beautiful sight there with the sunlight on the horse guards parade. Notice there's clearly up the barriers over on that truck, slightly to the right of the frame. So obviously it all went perfectly well with the Scots Guards Memorial Day, uh, as it did here with tourists and the guard. A few funny moments. If you didn't see part one, I will link to it in this part two. I'll be back, guys, tomorrow. Bye for now.